Piggy, 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 piggy. Piggy, 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 piggy. Come on. He's trying to check out your hand there. Yeah. Hello. Good day to everyone. Hope you enjoy the video and uh, thank you for all the people who are viewing, first time, regular viewers or, oh. Come here boys. Oh, here we go. Come here. Here. And all the subscribers and the likers, thank you very much. Yeah. And now, uh, aloha to Hawaii. I thought we'd just feed them out here, Rob. Yeah. Sun's about to come out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's always tricky trying to set this up. Yeah, we've got Gary from Michigan. Everybody's coming in. Yeah, and Philip from the UK said that your camera work is very good. Oh, goodness. Well, he's probably comparing it to mine. Compared to mine, it's brilliant. You reckon? Yeah, then we've got Heather from England. And Bernadette from Yorkshire. Do you reckon the boys like being fed in the in the paddock? Well, they're looking for I'll, I'll go and get the babies too, eh? Well, not now. Give these guys some more food. Oh, okay. Well, here, you feed them. What do you want me to do? It? You can feed them. I bought the cutting board out there for them, Rob. Oh. Got I'm, the cabbage and that you can cut. I'm not a chopper rubber. Anyone want a carrot? No. All right, I'll get some lettuce. Oh, I know, they'll love a corn. Is there corn in here? Yeah. <laughs> They're quite hoppy this morning, aren't they? Mm. So it's uh, interesting weather today. We had a little bit of rain overnight. Ow! What happened? Ah. This fella never waits. Hey, come on guys. He goes, he grabbed the back of the skin on the back of my hand. He's going, where's that corn? You were a bit slow, eh? Mm. Oh, you know what I was going to do? When I grabbed the babies, I was going to show people the... Um, do you want me to hold that? No, that's fine. Uh, the clippers are used for their teeth and their feet. <laughs> oh, they're funny little fellas. I don't think they're impressed. Hey? Oh boy, they're in a bit of a funny I see, I've got plenty of letters. I've got plenty of stuff right here in the garden. Oh, come on guys, okay. Sorry, I'm a bit slow on it. There's the lettuce. Here you go. Here, here, here. Hey, hey, here. Oh, look, he's bare. Thought he was looking a bit odd yesterday, but I gave him an apple. And not that I eat a lot of anything, but, you know, he had quite a few bites. and seemed right. I don't know whether he would... We were just sleeping or what? So Amy and, and her two year old grandson from Rockford or somewhere in Illinois the little fella, he loves the videos. He loves the guinea pigs. 
which is excellent. Because I started making these videos for my grandchildren originally. I didn't know I was going to make that many, but that's how it's worked out. So, hello to Amy and hello to your little fella. Obviously the joy of your life. No, corn's favourite, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But you know, at one stage it was bananas. Bananas fell down a notch. Boys are happy to eat anyway, aren't they? Yeah. And Michelle, I think she's from Finger Lakes area or something in Western New York. How you going, Michelle? That's uh, Fiona's mum, isn't it? <laughs> Didn't she name Fiona? Yeah, Michelle did. Yeah, Michelle. And her friend Fiona is in Melbourne. And obviously I'll have to go and get Gizmo. He's turning into a bit of a star. Whoop. So from northeast Massachusetts, I've got Dee. She's got two lovely little guinea pigs. And she's got a channel called Guinea Pig Chronicle. And they're pretty good. I, I like it. I like to have a look at other videos, and she does some nice ones. So hi, Dee, and hi, Bun Bun and Rusty. Oh, he's giving it a tug. And then you've got Heiko in Texas. That's where Coco is. She was riding and sharing. And, oh, he took that and not off. No, he's helping himself. You're too slow on it. So we got another guy who, who writes and you drive a 91 and he's from um, Cleveland in Ohio. So we share a bit of a common interest because I like uh, combustion engines and working on cars and pulling them apart. The boys are just looking for all different things. Looking for what? All different things. Oh. Oh, have we got a melon in there? I'll cut up for us. Oh, yeah. There's a little squash or something. There's a little melon. I'll cut the squash up, eh? Yeah. Oh, we've got a little melon. Cut it on the board there. No, I'll just give it to them all. Watch it, watch it. Alright, I'll go and get the little ones, eh? See how they're going. You right with that? Yeah. Won't be a sec. I'll grab those clippers. And hello to Carol Germany.
Hello, mamas. Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've got something nice for you. I've got something different for you today, little fellas. Oh, you're making nice. What's going on, noise, eh? Here's my little guys. Get them. Oh, but they look all right. I'll get them some lettuce here. This is pretty full with lettuce here. Here you go, guys. There's a little lacy. You lacy. You gizmo. Yeah, look, they're not sure. They're all excited. So that's little lacy. That's Fiona. So you got them mixed up the other day, those two. So this is little Gus, and that's Gizmo. So they'll end up being mates because they mature very quickly and they won't be. Uh, They'll be separated. The boys won't be with the girls or with their mothers. So that's Lacey over there. Mm. Ooh, he's having a look. What's that he's going, where's that lettuce? Well, they like the lettuce. He's checking it out. What are they doing in there? <laughs> Funny, eh? So that's Gus over there. Yeah, Gus here. Gizmo here. That's right. Who's that? Chloe. Yeah. Fiona. Here's Lacey over here on her own. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Where's those clippers? I'll just show you these to people. These are just the clippers that I use when I'm trimming a teeth, or I use them for trimming the nails as well. So they're spring loaded, they're very, very sharp, very small, and I'll, I need a rubber grip, you know, so they don't slip in my hand at all. And uh, because half the time we end up with a guinea pig that's half wild it turns up and I like to just wrap a bit of material around him or her so they don't um, fidget and be very careful normally my wife does the actual trim because she's more delicate she's got that better touch where I'm used to doing horses teeth or something like that you know which is a lot different setup and you're always better to cut it a little bit long than too short because you can always recut. But and if you look at the nails, you can see where the where the blood comes to and this and that, and then you allow that extra bit. Oh, look, they're fighting over these little ones. Oh, so I'll, I'll I wanted to see. Oh, I'll test them on the melon. No, oh, this one's a bit hard. There's a better one in the garden over here. What are you doing? Didn't I see a good one here? Where's that good one? Oh, here you go. Oh, I think geez. these little ones, these little ones are enjoying the hay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is hard. Molly. There's a, um... I'm gonna, where's that rock? Um, 
pomegranate. I think I might have pulled this rock melon off a bit early. They really are nice, the little fellas. So who was that that name? Gizmo Sounds of Ambience. Yeah. Oh, he isn't quite ready. Oh, what happened there? The pomegranate scared them. Oh, he's getting into the melon. I think I, uh... Oh, the... <laughs> Gee, happened? I cut this off a bit early, didn't I? Yeah, very early. So, depending on where you are, these are called rock melons here, but they're called cantaloupes elsewhere. That's the same as kiwi fruit. They're called, um, what else are they called? They're called a few <laughs> other names. No, they're right into that lettuce. I'll try them with a bit of silver beet. But see, little Lacey, she ate, ate, a, ate a fair bit of lettuce, and now she's looking around for something else. I'll get him a couple of, uh... see they run off with the carrots over there. Where are they? On the back of Over there. Oh, I'll, I'll try the little ones on a bit of corn. They were eating a bit of corn the other day with their mum. What are you doing, big fella? He's checking out. Oh, look at them. Mm. I'll cut this one here off. So it was uh, Melody, she named um, Cleo. Yeah, they're all, the little ones are doing good. Mm. So even though we had a little bit of a drizzle this morning and the temperature's probably only, I don't know, in Celsius, 20 or something, um, we call it a cool day, but elsewhere, depending on where you are, would be uh, quite warm. But if you're in Singapore, it'd be cool. If you're up north of Australia, it would be a cold day, you'd have a jumper on. What are you doing, biting on my shoe? No, they never looked at the corn. No. Look, he likes that bit of rock melon. So they go that if you're, uh, you know, relaxing with, in a nice environment with some pets or that, that your pulse rate goes down and it's so good for your health. And I can see that. Turn the corner in. Come on, fellas. So 
Amazing they grab their little treasures and run off. Yeah, so someone uh, wrote to me, because in one of the videos I was feeding some tomato bushes and they were going how poisonous tomato leaves are. You know, there's so much cross information out there that people read and that. But uh, tomato leaves, a lot of people use them in their salad and they report a lot of health benefits from them and everything else. So they're definitely not dangerous to guinea pigs. Well, not to ours anyway. Oh, they've been raiding the tomatoes and the bushes and what they don't eat is amazing. Anything that hangs down, they'll give it a chew. All right, you better take these little ones back. Yeah. But, uh, you know, like, how confusing it is. So one day I'm reading an article written by a, a reporter from a newspaper saying how that their local government is about to uh, lose the next election and uh, every, everyone working for them, all these staffers and that, are looking for jobs. Two days later, from the same newspaper, but a different reporter, is writing in the reverse story. So you never know the powers of whether the two reporters are having an argument or they didn't get much views on the other one so they wrote the other way, you never know what's what. Oh, that's called fake news? Well one of them had to be right, it's just trying to work out which one. Okay, oh we better say, uh, better say a load or more anyway. Okay, here's little Lacey that was Collie's mum. She's a nice little girl. Oh. Oh. Little Chloe. Oh, Cleo, I mean. I keep calling her Chloe. Cleo. Oh. Yeah, they look like they get cooling off Gizmo. You can see them just frothing up, puffing up. Oh, here's Gus here. You know what angle you're looking at. That's, so that's little Gus. And there's little Fiona here. Oh, look, they're into the rock melon now, both of them. All right, I'll take the, I'll cut the corn up because I've got to take it over. I'll give it to the girls, eh, mm. over there. All right, back in a sec. Uh, oh, they got the thing. Hey, you see, th this is a really nice pot. Look, we've got a bit of everything growing there. We've got a few peas, uh, um, cauliflower, tomatoes, a few melons. Try, I'll try to get a bit of variety for the little fellas. Yep, we're going back to your mama.
and Nicker writes a lot to her from Atlanta. Thanks for that, Nicker. I think that's about it. Is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just finished it there. Oh, I don't know. Bit of cleaning up to do yet. All right, well, thank you very much for everybody. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. All right. Okay, thank you everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah, I've got to go down and do the girls now. Okay, let's go.